Lake Trail Community Middle School here in Courtney, British Columbia. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Pentlatch, the Eakson, and Comox First Nations. I hope you and your family have had a great summer. I hope you've been outside, enjoying the beauty that's around us, and away from social media and technology as much as possible. I know that as we look at a new school year, many people are concerned, have anxiety, and are quite uncertain of what the school new school year will look like. For many students and parents, they've been away from school for five, six months, and have been told through social media and other sources that schools are unsafe. We don't believe so. We believe schools are as safe as possible to make. We did a lot of work before the summer started as a staff, listening to parents, listening to students, and coming up with a plan for what school will look like this fall, no matter what was thrown at us. And it's a good plan. We also have had our health and safety committees working with the provincial health officers and with local experts to help set up our school to make it safe and to follow all recommendations and guidelines. Starting later this week, our staff will be in for the next week and a half to two weeks going through procedures, protocols, and setting up our classes to make sure that our students and their families are taken care of in the safest po way possible. For those of you new to our school, our students are in homerooms with two teaching partners. Each teaching partner has a homeroom. Those will be our learning pods. Those students and those teachers will stay in those unique pods while they're in our school. Anytime this can't be maintained, we will use masks and practice physical distancing as much as possible. Our homeroom teachers will be contacting all students on Tuesday, either Tuesday the 7th or Wednesday the 8th to talk about what the restart will look like. Then on Thursday, September 10th, um, we will welcome students from grades six, starting grades 6 and 8 into our school. They will meet in the parking lot and their homeroom teachers will bring them in the school. The idea of that day is to go through all the protocols and procedures and help our students feel comfortable, safe and aware of what will happen in our school. They will be here from 9 until 12. Then on that Friday, that's September 11th, our students in grades 7 and 9 will go through the same procedure. They will meet their homeroom teachers in the parking lot, their homeroom teachers will bring them into the school and walk through what all the procedures and protocols will be. On Monday, September 14th, we will welcome back all students to our school. Students that take buses will be asked to wear masks and practice as much physical distancing as possible, but buses will be running as normal. I know that in this short um, video, I can't answer all the questions people possibly have. So we have posted information to our website that answers the most frequently asked questions and we invite you to check our website and the school district website with more, for more specific questions about health and safety and school restart. As always, I invite you, if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, ideas, to contact me directly. My email address is on our website. I'm easily found, it's Gerald Fussell and I will answer any questions to the best of my ability or point you in the direction where it can be. Before I finish, I do want to thank you sincerely for trusting us and allowing us to work with your children. This will be a memorable year for all of us. I guarantee that. But I am confident that our children will thrive. Thank you for your time, trust, and support. And have an excellent day.